Welcome to Pixels After Dark, the YouTube channel where we dive deep into all things creepy and disturbing in video games. Many don't quite realize it right away, but some children's games sneak in some unsettling soundtracks. Maybe you were too mesmerized by demons like these, but music can be the bread and butter to horror. We have a lot to cover, so let's not waste any more time. If you like videos like these and want to see more, hit that like button so I know to make another. Thank you, and enjoy. First up on our list comes the soundtrack River Twig's Bed from Super Paper Mario. For those who know a little about Paper Mario, it may not come to such surprise that an entry from the franchise is on this list. Paper Mario has been known for some of its disturbing attributes. Anyways, loading up the game and venturing to Chapter 7-1, you will find yourself in the Underwear, a land of dark grim colors and spooky characters. They don't leave you without warning though, as they mention to be wary of the river twigs. They warn of residents being dragged down, and caution players to be really careful of drowning. Okay, so as we curious gamers do, we find the river twigs and take a nice dip. Swimming past an army of killer hands, you notice the soundtrack change as you dive deeper into the river. Let's take a listen. Coming up next, we have Music Disc 11 from Minecraft. Odds are you have heard of this one, but it would be criminal to not throw in a disturbing soundtrack from such a famous children's game. Minecraft features in-game items called discs that play music when placed in a jukebox. Most of them actually play fun little jingles and add a nice touch when running around your world. These discs can be found in underground dungeons and all share a similar design scheme. Well, almost all. The music disc titled 11 seems to be cracked and shattered to the point of being unplayable. Well, those who popped it into a jukebox will notice that that is obviously not the case. Let's see what it plays. Our third entry today lies during the Gigas boss battle in Earthbound. Those who haven't heard of Earthbound may still know the main character, Ness. Ness and his crew of underage kids embark on a triumphant adventure to defeat the alien overcome with power, Gigas. Many enemies in Earthbound share a typical pixel model like the one shown here. When approaching the battle with Gigas, you are greeted to something slightly different. An abomination that stretches across the entire background of the screen. His face is drawn with a blood-like red color and distorted. He moves across the screen in all types of unsettling patterns, and the soundtrack behind it only makes it worse. Any Kirby fans here? Well, let's rewind all the way back to Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards. This Kirby title was released in the early 2000s, a time where censorship was often laughed at at the face by floating heads. Anyways, Kirby embarks on an adventure to help a group of fairies retrieve their crystals after antagonist Dark Matter went and shattered them all. You hop from world to world, doing what the protagonist does best, save the day, until you stumble upon the planet Ripple's Star. 
let's see what we agreed to upon landing at this destination. Time for a game I guarantee many of you haven't even heard of. If you have, then you will know exactly what I'm talking about. There was a game for the Sega Genesis titled Crazy Bus. The game was absolutely awful. You move buses, one would call it a bus simulator, but it was confusing, and I have no idea what was going on. Numbers change, there's a greater than and less than sign, just, just trust me. Skip this title if you ever stumble upon it. I mentioned that if you have heard of this title, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That's because this eerie soundtrack lies during the title screen. Let's hear it. I think we have time for one more entry to our list. But before we do, I just want to take this time to remind you to subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content. I post creepy and eerie moments in games, so if that's your cup of tea, consider clicking the bell to get instant updates whenever I post. Thank you, and onto our last soundtrack. Ah, Animal Crossing. A world of adorable little animals and creatures. What could go wrong? Well, a lot actually. Animal Crossing is actually filled with quite a few creepy easter eggs. But the one we're going to cover today is K.K. Dirge. Everyone knows this guy, K.K. Slider. He's the dog who plays those groovy and catchy tunes for the town. While this soundtrack can actually be triggered in multiple Animal Crossing titles, let's take a look at its appearance in City Folk. Going to the local bar K.K. Slider is playing at, you find out that you can request some of your favorite songs to be played. Fun, right? Well, going ahead and requesting this phrase will play this. Hmm. Oh, me, oh, me, oh, me, me, quit me, oh. What's worse is the word dirge actually stands for a mournful song for the dead, or a funeral song. So think about that as the credits start to roll. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I got a handful of these soundtracks on the back burner, so if you want to see more volumes, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have any, don't be afraid to throw in some of your favorite creepy soundtracks from children's games. I'm sure there are plenty that I'm missing. Thank you again, and I hope to see you all next time. Have a wonderful day.